Good evening, everyone. This is PJ Ryan coming to you live from New York. I'm here with founder and creative director of JTR Lux, James Thomas Ryan, graduate of prestigious Parsons School of Design and the Fashion Institute of Technology. James has worked with designers such as Mark Jacobs, Jenna Kong, and Betsy Johnson. Hello, James. Hi, PJ. How are you? I'm very good. Would you like to get started? Yeah, let's do this. Wonderful. Could you please tell us a little bit about JTR Lux? Well, JTR Lux is my first online gallery for my artworks, and it's really exciting to have it out there for the first time. It's really wonderful, James. JTR Lux is now on Facebook. What brings JTR Lux to Facebook? Well, as many of our listeners know, Facebook is one of the largest social networks right now in the world with over 400 million members. So I figured, well, that's a pretty good place to start. <laughs> I agree. Tell us more about your work. Well, I've been working as a designer and illustrator for quite a number of years now, and my work mainly is fashion illustration and really just putting my ideas on paper and sharing what I feel is exciting in fashion and that people would like to see. And what are these exciting influences of yours? You know, PJ, I can be influenced from so many different places and I'm especially influenced by people. I have many people in my life that I'm influenced by who are such individuals, uh, including yourself. So it's these many factors and definitely things like music and art that influence me on a daily basis. That's really wonderful and very interesting. When did your interest in fashion actually begin? Oh gosh, it goes a while back. It started, I'd say, around age 10. And uh, no, I'm not going to tell anyone how old I am. But... <laughs> <laughs> You know, I started sketching in my sketchbooks in school during class, right. and um, it's funny because I remember one of the students looking at my sketch and saying, is that a goon from the Popeye show? And, you know, that was a really early on sketch, so you can see I've come a long way. How funny. Yeah, well, your work definitely does portray your growth as a designer and an artist. Thanks. Um, one of your influences you did mention was music, and music does tend to be a constant source of inspiration for artists. Mm -hmm. um, could you mention some of your musical influences? Oh, well, where do I start? Well, as you know, and a lot of our fans know, um, Goldfrapp is one of my favorite groups, and I started really loving them, I'd say, over 10 years ago, and since then I've I've kind of grown along with them, so... Definitely, that would be number one. Anyone else? You know, I kind of like old school stuff, too, like Madonna. I really feel like she's um, grown along with me and, and everybody. Well, let's begin, shall we? Sure. Let's continue um, with the question, where does the idea of beauty come into play in your work? You know... I do see beauty all around me, and um, I can consider anything beautiful, even things that some people would consider ugly, I would consider to be beautiful. I think it's really in the eye of the beholder, and, you know, I just kind of look out there, and I see different things, and I just try not to judge them. I just, I say, well, you know, that person's wearing that, or whatever. Even if I don't like it, I'll say, well, at least it's interesting. At least they're making an effort. So I can see beauty in lots of things, including nature and, you know, my, my dog buttons and all kinds of things. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? Well, yes. I would like to welcome all of the newest members to JTR Lux. Thank you so much for joining me. And it's going to be an interesting journey to see where it goes. And um, please recommend your friends to join, too. It would be great to have lots of you. But I do realize that it is quality and not quantity. So I'm not going to think about numbers too much. 
That's very true. Well, thank you for being with us tonight, James. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. And thank you for all of the listeners that are joining us for the first installment of our podcast series with James Thomas Ryan. Thank you, PJ, and thanks to all the listeners, and it's been a pleasure. Everyone have a wonderful night.